Well, here we are in the airport again and on the road to Louisville USCCA Expo this weekend and I'm teaching lessons learned from 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 gunfights we've watched at this point and also uh, surviving an armed robbery, uh, an evidence-based approach. So teaching those two classroom sessions. And here I am in the secure area of the airport. And of course, <clears throat> can't keep a gun here, firearm, pepper spray, uh, taser, any of those things. So what can you keep? Well, you can always keep your wits on you. You can always have your empty-handed skills on you. But a couple things that have made it through, I'll show you these. <clears throat> first of all, I have my first aid kit all right there. Gloves and tourniquet and <clears throat> all those things. Also here, uh, this is, uh, an interesting idea I want to show you it's an umbrella and I want to see see this guy's thick man the whole umbrella is made with that tip kind of goes all the way through it and I'm bringing it this weekend because it's gonna rain in Louisville that's the simple thing and I needed an umbrella but this company sent me this because this is a defense umbrella you can see I'm not gonna open it here I'll open it later when it's actually raining so that it's doing what it's supposed to um, but uh, this could be, uh, you know, for poking, for keeping distance. Uh, you could swing it. I think it's a little unwieldy to swing, personally. Um, but you could use it uh, as a defensive fence as well. Keep that on your arm so you don't get smacked. So uh, it's better than nothing, right? It, it um, if you've got some training using a, a pole arm, it, it could be useful and helpful for you and keep guys off you. So uh, goes right through security. They didn't have any problems whatsoever. The guy at TSA was like, you know, we're in Phoenix, right? It's not that never rains there. I was like, yeah, but I'm going to Louisville where it does. And uh, blew right through, no problems whatsoever. So you might want to think about if you're traveling like this, you know, yeah, I can't bring the firearm on the plane. Oh, well, I can, but it's in checked baggage, and, and we did that, no problem. But that doesn't mean you're defenseless. doesn't mean you can't have any tools. They just have to be multitaskers, and that primary task has to be something that they allow through security. In this case, with the, uh, <clears throat> the umbrella, no problem. Okay, walking through the airport in Louisville now to go into baggage claim, and I got my umbrella just stuck in between my back and my backpack there. I feel like a samurai warrior, but I look like a dork probably. One other thing, um, I do, you know, keep my IFAC on me, my this umbrella. It's kind of cool, but also uh, a really powerful flashlight. So I know some people that like tactical pen for the airport. Some of them will get through security, some of them won't, quite frankly. But the flashlight always does, and you can see it doesn't have a crazy bezel. This one um, is my favorite. It's a Surefire EDC L2T, um, 1200 face melting lumens, and a good Kubitan. You know, you could get after somebody with it if you wanted to. Also, if I, if I just pop you with it, you know, uh, a little bit to the face, you're like, whoa, man, it's a low level of force. So another option.